October is Filipino American Heritage Month, and several Los Angeles nonprofits are celebrating with a music writing camp lasting all week long. Eyewitness News reporter Irene Cruz shows us their creative scene in tonight's SoCal Strong. A four-day songwriting camp kicked off in L.A., meant to highlight the music and talent of Filipino-American creatives. Record label executives, artists, and producers all coming together. We actually have artists from the Philippines who are going to be joining us. I would love to just, like, help aid the bridge between Filipino-American creatives and the artists of the Philippines. This is like the first stepping stone, you know, where we have more representation, you know, for our Filipino community in mainstream media. In honor of Filipino American History Month, two nonprofits put on the Kababayan Writing Camp. It's jam packed with workshops, studio sessions, and nonstop collaboration, especially helpful for younger artists. This is only the start for something that could happen more often, especially for the younger generation. With this, I feel like we could start something something that is really great for our community. The goal is to amplify Filipino creative voices and to celebrate culture and the influence on American mainstream music. When you feel like you're gonna quit, um, something can happen. Some popular Phil Am stars participated in the workshop, including singer Kiana V, daughter of Filipino icon Gary Valenciano, as well as Josh De La Cruz, who now hosts the Blues Clues reboot. De La Cruz started in musical theater and says he grew up inspired by Filipino artists like Lea Salonga in Disney's Aladdin or Dante Bosco in the film Hook. Seeing Hook, one of my favorite movies of all time, and realizing, oh shoot, Rufio's Filipino, and like, it has nothing to do with him being Filipino. Um, that was really, really inspiring for me, especially later in my life when I started to look at film and television as uh, a viable career option. And I love it. I love to see it. I, I think that our culture has so much to offer, and we haven't really had our full moment yet, but, it, but it's happening. Irene Cruz, ABC7 Eyewitness News. There'll be lots of events happening all week to celebrate, including a Kamayan dinner, a communal-style dinner, traditionally eaten using your hands.